What is up guys, Zack Scott here playing Pokemon Sword and last episode was the ending of the game but not the ending of my playthrough of this game because we've got to do some of the post game content. I hear that if you go into Hop's house, you can go up to the second floor and get a, uh, is it a Charmander? Let's see. I don't remember what they're, what they're gifting here. I want to thank you guys for returning to this series though. I really do appreciate it. You guys have been phenomenal supporting it with over like 28,000 likes in the first episode, over 1.6, 1.7 million views. Where does one find this Charmander though? I don't know where it's found. <laughs> I just came in here knowing that it was here, but I don't know where it is. Do I talk to her? Although Leon is no longer the champion, he's still very busy and hardly comes back, but I think he should do whatever he wants to do while he's young. Dude, oh, this is it. This is it. It's just, um, this is his room, right? There is a Pokeball with a Charmander in it. Perfect, I'll have that. You read the letter attached to the Pokeball. If you're reading this, Z-Dog, then I'm leaving this special Charmander to you. Let's have a real fiery battle again soon. Best, Leon. All right, there we go. So this must be Leon's room right here. And so I got a Charmander. And uh, it has a preference for hot things. When it rains, steam is said to spout from the tip of its tail. It's a fire-type Pokemon. Uh, I'm not I'm just gonna send it to the box I, I guess send it to the box maybe I can level it up in the future but for now Charmander is getting sent to the box these are uh, Leon's porno mags we're gonna go down now and over to the uh, the sleeping wield I think because there's more post game content there and of course uh, if there's anything else that you really 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 want to see me do let me know in the comments below uh, because I hear there's other stuff to do and frankly, I don't know what all there is yet, but I do know that I was instructed to go back into this area and find out. No, one thing I wanted to do, and maybe this might, how do I get to my box? Is there a way to get to my box from here? I don't think there is, is there? But, uh, swap Pokemon, no. But G-Dog is here. One thing I want to do, let me, before we go over here, I mean, I know I'm kind of backtracking a little bit, but how do I get to, how do I get, okay, here, let's just, let's just ride the bike. We'll ride the bike. We'll go over to the, uh, the Pokemart up here. Our town is so close to a major town, so we'll just ride in. It's okay. There's Route 1. No one cares about Route 1 anymore. <laughs> Maybe not. And then we'll go up over here into Wedgehurst. Now, I was super curious. Get me in here. Get me in here. Although I caught that thing. I, I don't think I got to keep it, did I? Check boxes. Did I get to keep keep the Eternatus? I don't think I did. No, I only have. Do I only have two boxes? No box. Oh, I did get to keep it. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's Eternatus. Okay. Um. Well, let's practice a little bit with him because you know. Yeah. Let's move him over to G, G Dog. You've been fun. Uh, I might, I don't know. What is it turned into? It's a poison dragon type? Dude, I don't even know. So let's just bring him in. Oh my, I got Eternatus, okay. Uh, <laughs> that is quite something. Uh, you know, there is there is the charm. He's only level five. I would have to, you know, really level him up to get charm. But I don't think I really want to. And, uh, you know, there's, there's Salazzle. Um, who else was really cool that I was thinking about putting the party? I don't even know. Like, if I were to play a lot of the post-game content, I might have some some different things to add to my party. Eternatus is really cool. I, I do like G-Dog. I don't know if D-Dog is even useful compared to G-Dog. Uh, but Eternatus could be my E-Dog. So let's go ahead and see you later. Let's, <laughs> let's read it. <laughs> yeah, hey, by the way, I have Eternatus. Do you remember this guy? I have Eternatus, the guy who, like, almost destroyed the world. I have him. Do you like him? Quite a fine nickname. Uh, yeah, let's rename him. Uh, new nickname. I should have brought him into the final battle. Uh, so E Dog. There we go. It's E Dog. Eternatus. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot that I had Eternatus. Like after we caught him, I, I knew I caught him, but I didn't like really think about it after after the fact, you know. So uh, now if we look at my Pokemon, wrong button again. I, I will never learn the right button for that. There's E Dog. <laughs> Eternatus. <laughs> also, like G-Dog without a gender, so I mean, I don't know. I, I might, you know, if I were to play this game a little bit more and really finesse my team a little bit, then maybe I would do something different. I just, what kind of moves does this guy have? 
What is, what is this guy all about? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Poison Dragon. Pressure. Putting pressure on the opposing Pokemon, it raises their PP usage. Ooh, that's interesting. And, uh... Can this... This is such a cool thing. This has Cross Poison... Oh, my. Cross Poison. Okay. Dragon Pulse. Flamethrower, which is a 90 move. And Dynamax Cannon. And that's a dragon move as well. It deals twice the damage if the target itself is Dynamaxed. Alright. That's pretty incredible. I would definitely want to use him, you know, maybe if I were doing some raids and they were weak to dragon moves. But uh, if I take a look at the... Uh, let, me get, let me put my bike on really quick. If I take a look at my... At the, at the Pokemon type chart. Um, and we're going to go back down here, by the way. You know, Dragon is weak against, or, or strong against. Let's look at what he's strong against. Sorry, I'm looking at a different screen. <laughs> We're going back down here. But uh, Dragon is strong against Dragon, and that's it. So really, only when you're attacking another Dragon would you want to use Dragon, but then that weakens you. Uh, so yeah, that's that's really tough. But if you're a fairy, you're immune to that. That's that's tough. But if it's twice as strong anyway, then I don't I don't know, man. I guess you could be safe to use it on anyone. Maybe that's why it's a good move. Because you can still use it on anyone, except for fairies. And, or steel's not really good, so. Anyway, we're going back over here. Let's just kind of uh, have some fun here. We gotta meet Hop at the uh, area. All right, so now we're headed this way, and we'll see if Hop is indeed over here. And you know, I have no desire to, oh, he's not here. Oh, yeah, yeah, he is. Okay, hi, buddy. Hey Hop, what's up? Huh? Z Dog, what are you doing here in the woods? What are you doing here in the woods? What about you? Nobody ever comes in here since this is the forest where Zakian and, and Zamazenta rested. It's the best place to do a bit of thinking since it's so quiet and all. You say you felt like something was calling you here, Z Dog? That's. Mate, that's pretty uncanny. Oh, but I hadn't had the chance to tell you. Congrats on your victory, Z Dog! Honestly, Z Dog, I never thought you managed to beat my brother, the greatest champion Galar ever had. But but now it's me, guys. It's me now, and now I'm the greatest champion Galar's ever had. He was undefeatable till you came around. It's actually still pretty hard to believe. Really, you're a, you're amazing, Z Dog. So amazing, maybe that I don't even realize just how amazing you really are. That's right. That's what I'm gonna say from now on. I'm so amazing, you guys don't even know how amazing I am. <laughs> Z Dog, do you think? Would you be up for one more battle? Sure. Thanks, Z Dog. Then show me the strength to defeat it, Lee, the greatest champion we ever had. I'm ready when you are. Just say the word. I'm ready. Dude, uh, yeah, now. This will be a serious battle. Battle, you're ready for that, aren't you? Of course. This is it. All right. Different type of music, I guess. He's focused. Watch, watch him beat me. <laughs> All right, Pokemon Trainer Hop. Here we go again. Send out Double. Double's no big deal. Is this an, Is it a normal? Like, how, what level is Dubwool? He looks burnable, very flammable. Level 59, that's no big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, um, I think I'm just gonna do Pyro Ball? I guess I could I could switch to fighting, right? Yeah, fighting is, but that was pretty good. Dubwool fainted. I can't, he has six Pokemon now. And then uh, Snorlax, that's a normal. I should switch to fighting. Let's uh, switch Pokemon. I'm gonna bring out f Talk. I mean, e Dog's not gonna be good for anything, really, but sure. Can we Gigantamax here, That'd be, or Dynamax here? Here we go, come on, Snorlax. All right, Brick Break, right now. That was good. A critical hit indeed, and that finished him off. All right, Sea Dog leveled up to 64. Uh, Corviknight. Now, Corviknight. Uh, once again, it's a it's a bird. I always I always want to say it's a dark flying, but it's a flying steel, and so steel is weak to fire. Flying is weak to electricity. We can really go either way here. Uh, let me switch Pokemon. I want to bring out T Dog. Give him a little bit more love. So here we go. We have something that's weak to poison. 
It's kind of a shame that Dragon is only strong against Dragon, but it has some great defenses against like the, the basics. The fire, water, electric, grass. Anyway, uh, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna fight this guy with uh, Overdrive. Here we go. Oh, but he gets to use Brave Bird right off the bat. What is this? Oof. All right, he hit me, not very effective. And he was damaged himself. Here comes Overdrive. He wasn't damaged too much, but who knows? Maybe that was what pushed him over the edge. We got Corviknight down. All right, level up for T-Dog and R-Dog. 69, nice. And T-Dog, of course, heals a little bit because of the held item, the Black Sludge. Uh, Rillaboom, uh, that one is the grass type. And I don't know if Rillaboom ha has any, any other types, but I'm pretty sure he's just grass. So I'm gonna switch over to fire because grass is weak against fire. Uh, or we could use poison. We could actually try out E-Dog's poison attack. Let's switch Pokemon. I wanna try out uh, E-Dog's poison attack. Here we go, this will be fun. Hop, remember this guy? Remember we fought this guy? Remember how much terrible things this guy did to us? I got him. <laughs> All right. Rilla boom. There you go. Pressure. I'm exerting my pressure. Let's do a poison move with super effective. Oh, yeah, the flamethrower was super effective too. Which one's better? This is 90. This is 70. Yeah, let's just do the flamethrower then. Here we go. This probably won't wipe him out, but it's still fun to use E Dog. Oh, the oh, barely. Barely. Here comes Slam. Oof. That was, what did you slam me with? Let's fight him. Uh, let's do the cross poison. Oh, full restore, son of a gun. I always forget that full restore is a thing. Here comes cross poison, probably. All right, that was super effective, but not like, it wasn't my strongest thing. Let's do flam, flame, flamethrower. I get to go first, there you go. Boom looks pretty flammable, so with all that greenery all over him. Got him. All right. And so uh, E-Dog got some love there. 3,000 F-Dog leveled up. Uh, Cramorant, what the heck is that? I don't think he's had that before, right? Let's see what Cramorant is. Oh, <laughs> I know what this one is. This is a flying uh, water. So we're gonna wanna bring out electricity. Check this, I know what Cramorant is. Uh, switch Pokemon back to uh, T-Dog here. Here we go, switch him out. Go T-Dog! All right, Cramorant. And then let's just do Overdrive. Is he used Dive first, but, but did, what, what? Oh, he leaves. That means I'm gonna miss my first Overdrive. That's okay. But I heal a little bit, thanks to the Black Sludge. And then let's just do that again. Watch me go first again. No, good, good thing he comes out first. All right, all right, yeah, it, it hurt, but this is really gonna hurt. Boom, hop, you haven't learned a thing. <laughs> Super effective. Oh, what, oh, the fish hit me, right? Oh, man, I'm gonna sweat, my defense fell. Kramer at faint, he, I guess he hit me on the way out. Such a shame. Uh, so what do I wanna do? <laughs> I healed just slightly. I'm probably gonna switch out of T-Dog. Uh, but anyway, so Pin Churchin, we know who Pin Churchin is, don't we? I don't remember who he is, honestly, but I always misspell, I remember always misspelling the name. Uh, oh yeah, it's the electric. So we're gonna choose a ground. My goodness, I did not, I don't have a ground type at all. But what we wanna do is we don't wanna bring in flying, we don't wanna bring in steel. So I'm gonna bring in, uh, let's switch Pokemon. I think, uh, uh, no, oh no, I meant to, oh my god. I meant to switch it, that's okay. Uh, here comes Boom boom Burst, here we go. I meant to switch it, but that's okay, we got other things we can do. Oh, that was really good. There's Zing Zap coming at me, electricity probably doesn't do much, thank goodness. And I still got my normal attack too, so we're probably gonna finish this off with T-Dog here. And so, Boom Burst again, there we go. Not too shabby. All right, Pin Church and Fainted. All right, I like what I see. He winked at me. 
He's mad again. I mean, come on. What did you expect? I didn't expect there to be such a gap between you and me, mate. Well, I'm the champion. What do you think? You're not. <laughs> hey, it's one more episode where I get to be mean to Hop. Come on. So there really is no way I could ever beat you. I mean, you even beat my unbeatable brother. Oh, hello, Sonya. And if it isn't the two of you again, I was wondering what all the noise was about. And if it isn't Sonya. Z-Dog, congratulations on beating Leon. Thank you. Taking it all in stride like it's your due, eh? You cheeky, cheeky thing. <laughs> all right. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off assisting the professor? Hop, I'm actually not working on my grand's assistant as my grand's assistant any longer. In fact, I'm the professor now. Not just twirling her hair. Well, congratulations, Sonya. You you are? And really, I've got the two of you to thank for that. I was just along for the ride on your adventure, but I ended up taking a real interest in the history of the Galar region. And I came to care for Pokemon even more than I ever had before. And here, it's a book I wrote. I even signed it. That makes it a collector's item. All right, Sonya's book. Thank you. Uh, Professor Sonya's published writings. Her new discoveries about the Galar region's legends and rec are rec recorded in this enjoyable read. I've already got my own copy. Lined up to buy it the day it came out. Ah, oh, thanks, Hop. That's so sweet. I'll sign your copy for you later. Anyway, I've got my grand's blessing and put out my first book under my own name. I think you can expect great things of the lovely Professor Sonya in the future, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I expect so. Sonya and Z-Dog, you both amaze me. I've got a lot to live up to here. So, what, what are you youngins doing here? Oh, uh, right. Oh, that's it, isn't it? You were putting the rusted sword and the rusted shield back in their place. Can't just keep holding on to them forever, right? We were. Yeah, that's what we were doing. We were just about to do that. You forgot entirely, didn't you? What? You think the two of you are besties now with Zaki and Zamazenta or something? That must be it, Z-Dog. Why, <laughs> why you felt like you were called here? Let's put the sword and shield back and say a proper thanks for all the help. Maybe if we do, we'll get to see Zaki and Zaminta again someday. Zamazenta, sorry. All right, sure. Return the rest of the sword. No, no, yeah, we'll do it. Those noises sound like howls, don't they? Zaki and Zamazenta, thanks for thanks loads for helping us out. Took us a little while, but we brought back your precious relics and all. All right, there they are. You and Hop return the rusted sword and rusted shield. All right, that about settles that. Z Dog, why don't you and I head back? What are you gonna do, Sonya? I think I'll stay here a bit longer. I want to do a little more research here in the forest. Hmm, my power spot detector is going off. Well, well, well. I thought I heard something. S someone making some noise over this way. Who are, who are these people? Uh, what the heck? What? Well, well, well. You would it be the Professor Sonya who wrote the book Galar A History? Uh, yeah, hello. You, you bought my book? Why, yes, of course. Read it from cover to cover. Why, yes, of course. I even wrote an internet review for it. That awful book was filled with lies, so we gave it one star. I don't like these guys at all, and their hair is fake. What? There are no lies printed in that book. That's just plain rude. I am S Swordward. <laughs> And I am Shilbert. <laughs> we are the new kings of Galar. We're descendants of the first kings. More than that, we're celebrities. New king, descendants? Seriously, what are you on about? What exactly are you two supposed to be? Well, 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 could these things here be the fabled sword and shield? Well, 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 they certainly are dirty. They must be fake. I fear to touch them with my bare hands. But they took them. D don't take them. You, you should give in to your fear and don't touch them. Hey, don't go nicking those. We just returned them. Oh, do shut up. We only happened to pick up some things that were dropped on the ground. If you got a problem with it, how about you prove to whom they belong, hmm? But th there's no way anyone can prove who those ancient things belong to. Even if we can't prove it, they're really important to Zaki and Zamazenta. Oh, goodness. Such a plebeian and yet so pushy. If it's really so important to you, perhaps we should settle this with a battle. We're celebrities who buy battles for twice what they're worth. What does that even mean? I, the Magnificent Swordward, am your opponent. All right, great, great. Gonna go up against these doofuses. So Pokemon Trainer Swordward, <laughs> these fans. All right, fine. What's going on? Who are you sending out? Uh, Sir Fetch, I know who that is. With Sir Fetch being a fighting type, we're talking a flying psychic or fairy move. Uh, but depending on what level he is, we might be able to just burn him. I don't know. Let's, let's be smart about it. Let's switch Pokemon and bring out uh, our dog here. 
Here we go. All right, go our dog. Level 69. Here comes Sword Stance. Does that hurt me? Or no, that just works on him, right? All right, his attack rose. That's okay. We got a, a super affecting, effective Dazzling Gleam. And there you go. Sir Fetch is gone. He has a sword, though, because Sword Word probably likes swords. It's not a sword. It's a leak. It actually has a big shield, so you'd think the other one would like him, too. Shieldbert. Anyway. Who's next? Uh, the Blade. Well, he does indeed like uh, sword-based Pokemon. Uh, the Blade is a uh, Steel Ghost type Pokemon, and so if we want to deal some damage, Fire seems about right. So let's switch Pokemon uh, to Sea Dog, and we will deal some Fire-based damage to him. All right. The Blade. It's a pretty cool look. Here comes uh, Pyro Ball. Super effective. I don't know who he's bringing out next, so we'll see what happens. Boom! Got it again. These guys, man. They don't know what I'm made of. All right. More XP for everyone to go around. Uh, Bisharp. He, he really is really liking all this stuff. Uh, Bisharp is a Dark Steel type. So dark does not prevent uh, fire, so I'm just gonna keep battling as uh, this current Pokemon. All right, he likes sharp things. Let's go ahead and do Pyro Ball again. I guess I've never faced off against this guy before. Probably face off against like an underling or, or a, an evolution under him or something. Another one hit wonder right there. Super effective, goodbye. All right, and more XP. Who's next? Uh, Golio, uh, Goli, Golisopod. This sounds like an insect type. I don't know. Uh, let me look him up really quick. Golisopod is a bug water. I, I have seen him before. Uh, if we're talking bug water, you know, the fire is canceled out. The bug, the fire weakness is canceled out. The grass weakness is canceled out by the bug. Um, there is a flying weakness. Um, there's also a rock weakness. And that's about there's the electric weakness. T dog I'm gonna i I'm gonna bring in T Dog again. Switch Pokemon, T Dog is really low. I hope that he gets to attack first. Because if so, then I will be able to uh, easily defeat him probably. And maybe even stand a chance to heal. Hmm, that's enough faffing about. I suppose it's time to get serious. Alright. Let's see this thing. That thing is a beast. Uh, but let's get serious. Overdrive then. Please let me go first. Yes. I remember I gave T-Dog some speed boost way back when. There you go. Serious as I can be. Serious as a heart attack. We got you. D-Dog leveled up. All right. Sword word is con, thankfully. Very shocking. Uh, how can this be? My, my Pokemon. All right. So, do I got to fight the other one? Or does maybe Hop deal with him? I don't know. You took back the rusted sword. To, to someone... To somehow have defeated the adorable Pokemon I go strolling with, you're certainly strong. Do they not know? If they think they're famous, I'm famous. I'm the freaking champion here. However, it appears that my younger brother is, was victorious. Of course, man, Hop is terrible, dude. Sorry, Z Dog, I lost to him. Well, haha, something on your mind, boy? You weren't concentrating at all during our battle. Let me go up against him. Let me go against him. Older brother, isn't that the one who stopped Eternatus? Oh, oh, ho, now that I look closely, I believe it is. What a rude child snatching up our chance at glory like that. According to our sources, I believe he was also present during the destruction of the magnificent mural our ancestors so artfully created many years ago. What a garish brute destroying the mural our family had held in such high esteem for so long. Mural? You mean the one that hid the historical ruins of Zakian and the others? And hold on a moment, Z-Dog wasn't the one who destroyed it. Let us withdraw for now. Next time, we shall bring Pokemon that will utterly defeat you. That's right. And with that, farewell. Wait, wait, stop. Give back the rusted shield. Hold on, Hop. Ah, oh, that kid. He's going to recklessly run off. At least you're calm, Z-Dog. I expected as much. I'm surprised that Hop lost to someone like that. He looked upset about something during the battle. Maybe uh, that had something to do with it? His own rival became the new champion, and his goal vanished before his eyes. You can't help but wonder how he feels about it all. 
Anyways, Swordward and Shieldbert, was it? I think I might know something about where those two weirdos went. Shall we go over in the lab in Wedgehurst? Of course. I bet <laughs> I didn't even need to ask. Thanks. Okay, we'll meet up later. I'll head back to the lab. And honestly... Uh, okay, good. They took me out of there. So the, the lab in Wedgehurst, if we just bring the bike, we're going to go over here. And find out exactly what that was all about. Because here's Wedgehurst. I don't remember which one the lab was. It's been a while since I've been here. I want to say it's in the back, but it could be over this way. Yeah, it's in the back. What? What's this? A rare candy. Thank you. And then... Uh... Nope. Was it down here? Where's the lab? Let me look at... Let me look at the town map here. Uh... You know, it's back here. Okay, I don't know, I don't know. Let's find out really quick. I don't remember where it was. Like, which one's the lab? I don't remember. Was this it? That looks like a house to me. Another, another thing. Did I not check the corners before? All right, seriously, wh where's the lab? Was it this? Was this like right off the bat? No. Where the heck is the lab? This must be it. There's a Pokeball on the front. Hmm. Professor Sonia, you have a visitor. Hey, Z Dog, glad you're here. Who's this? She's my assistant. I've been so busy with research lately that I have, I've had to bring on some he extra help. I've been keeping all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose had been gathering here in the lab. Things have been a little hectic around here, but my assistant has been handling things in a proper fashion. She's really been helping me keep things afloat. I really haven't been doing all that much. You're Z-Dog, the champion, right? I'm really glad I get to meet you. It's an honor, truly. Come here for a moment, would you? There's something I want you to have a look at. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on. You remember my power spot detector, right? It detects places where Dynamaxing is possible. Basically, when there's a high concentration of Galar particles, the readings spike. And that's how I figured it out. The power spot detector reacted when those two got close. Could it be? Exactly. Follow the readings from the power spot detector and you might be able to find those sword and shield weirdos. All right. Let's do it, tell me where they are. S Swordward and Shieldbert might claim to be royalty with their weird fancy names, but it's easier to just call them weirdos, don't you think? <laughs> Let's get back on topic, though. I placed power spot detectors all around Galar, and now it's their time to shine. Power spot detectors, access. All right, so what's the deal? Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, I'm looking. There, there there's something. They're at turf field, probably. I can't fly there yet, but they're at turf field. They're totally at turf field. Okay, they're at turf field. I'm assuming they're at turf field because it seems like they're at turf field. Whoa, whoa, that was a way bigger reaction than I would have thought. Looks like it's coming from turf field stadium. You could always Dynamax Pokemon at the stadium, so that's not exactly unusual, but these readings are way higher than normal. It can't be Eternatus, you already caught it. Maybe it's something related to those sword and shield weirdos. You could go check it out, Z-Dog, since you are a snazzy new champion and all. I've set up your town map to show where the strong particle reactions are coming from, so have a look at it. All right. So let's uh, fly there. I mean, I'll just fly there, right? I can do a fast travel. No big deal. And then... Uh, let's do it. Up here. Turf field, yes. Flying taxi, please. All right, so here we are, and you say these at the stadium? Well, the stadium's right down here. So let's see if those weirdos are here, those sword and shield weirdos. Easier just call them weirdos. All right, what's going on, guys? Hmm, you're... Hello there, champion, so you came. What's been going on here? Ha, huh, how carefree can you be? You're the new champion, you're bigger than a Dynamax Pokemon right now. I was actually in the middle of an exhibition match with peers, then this Dynamax Pokemon came charging in. The audience and staff already took shelter. All right, let's see what this is all about. 
I got everyone who was seated on the north side of the stadium evacuated. You must have heard right. More Dynamax po Pokemon are running, running amok. Much obliged, Top. I'd expect nothing less from a gym challenger. I knew we could count on you. I lost in the semifinals, though. Ah, z Dog. I chased those red and blue guys and saw them head into Turfield Stadium. Then I heard that uproar, and there was no way I could leave it alone. I had to help out. So, sorry. I actually lost sight of them all in the rush. Hmm, those suspicious characters you saw are concerning. But for now, I think we should get this Dynamax Pokemon to settle down first. I'd be glad for your help against such a tough-looking opponent, Champion z Dog. Of course. All right, then let's head to the pitch. I'll lend a hand, too. I don't blame the Pokemon, of course, but I'm still just a bit miffed they upstage me. You come too, bro of the old champion. I don't know how much I can really help. If I come along, I might just end up slowing the rest of you down. I don't really know that the guy, but I don't think Leon be all lost about this. Though he does get actually lost a lot. You coming? Uh, okay. Alright, so let's go in. Piers might look scary, but he's great at looking after others. He's a big brother after all. Alright, we should get going too. <laughs> These appears look scary. He looks like a high school gothic kid. <laughs> So this is like one of the max raid things, right? Oh, can we catch this? Sarina appeared. That's pretty cool. So I got Sea Dog here, right? I guess so. Did we get to catch? Did we get to catch this or not? This is a grass type Pokemon, so fire is perfect. Um, so let's Dynamax, and one of these is stronger than the other. Let's do the 150, I guess. Here we go. Let's do what we gotta do. All right. Yes. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. All right, I'm taller than you. Let's see how this works. Here comes Max Flare. Oh, that was good. All right, super effective. And now it's gonna be, uh, the sunlight has turned harsh. Here comes Throat Chop. I got her too. Here comes Slam. Oh, uh, but she avoided the attack. All right. What just happened? All right, we're fine. The battlefield got weird, whatever. Here comes Dragon Dance. All right, Flapples, let's do it again. Let's try this one. Here we go, another Max Flare. Oh, that was it, that was the, that was it. Super effective. I guess we don't get to capture it. Or do we? No, I guess we don't. Oh, there's, there she is. They use a revive. All right, they got her back. Looks like things finally calmed down a bit. This Dynamax stuff, no matter how many times I see it, I still don't like it. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't use Dynamax, that's right. I can see your dislike of Dynamaxing still hasn't changed, Piers. But there was definitely something off about that Dynamax transformation. There wasn't any trainer anywhere, and the Pokemon seemed like it couldn't even control the power itself. Quite right. Normally a Pokemon needs to respond to a Dynamax ban in order to, to, to Dynamax, but Seems like there was some discord in the harmony between trainer and Pokemon. Did you feel anything unusual, z Dog? I did. <laughs> I didn't. So you noticed something was off too. There's no trainer to be found. This is really a mystery wrapped in an enigma. I'll make sure Turfield Jim takes good care of this Pokemon for the time being. Give her to me. I'll take care of her. You really helped me out a lot. Thanks for that. Oh, and z Dog, if you should ever need my help, feel free to call me anytime. I got his rare league card. Very cool. All right then, follow me, little Serena. All right. Now, when I'm done with this game, I'll share my league card with you guys. Well, 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 looks like that Dynamax nonsense has calmed down. Well, 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 the champion as expected. Great. Hi, guys. Ah, it's you two, I knew you'd be back here. Give the rusted shield back. Well, I never. It's not like it's something that belongs to you either. Even if it were yours, we wouldn't give it back. What's with these two? Ugh, get over here so I can battle you. Who are these guys? Spectators and staff shouldn't be evac should have been evacuated. The normal rules simply just don't apply to us. Yes, that's what it means to be celebrities. What? <laughs> I 
Who is this ruffian to question us? You're just someone with strange tastes and hairstyles. His entire style is complete black and white nonsense, isn't it, older brother? You'd think I'd put any faith in words from rude little punks like you. But it seems our experiment was a success, younger brother. Quite, quite. Maybe next time, uh, let us try to Dynamax an even stronger Pokemon. Yes, yes. At last, we shall reveal the true nature of Zakian and Zamazenta. What was that about Zakian and Zamazenta? You despicable champion. We're going to keep letting Dynamax Pokemon run wild. If you want to stop us, do your best to chase after our splendid-looking bottoms. <laughs> More like celebrity bottoms. And with that, farewell. All right, I don't want to do anything with her bottoms. So, you were the ones who caused all this? Stop. Calm down, Hop. You don't got to act so hard. But, but, but they're getting away. Yeah, and they could be leading us to a trap. It's a bad idea to run in unprepared. But still. Ugh, fine. You're right. I get it. Good. Let's all calm down for a sec. Thanks to them running their mouths, we know their goal was to force Pokemon to Dynamax, and that they plan to continue doing it. I won't allow it, I say. Yeah. There is no time to be hung up on getting back the rusted shield. Z-Dog, Pierce, we've got to stop these two. All right. And we will, probably, maybe. we got to find out where they went next, though. So, let me go down here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rest my Pokemon, because some of them have taken some damage, I think, right? Oh, there's Sonya. Ah, there you are, Z-Dog. Things are a right proper mess. Just when I thought the Galar Particle count around Turfield had calmed down, I started getting huge Galar Particle readings from Holbury Stadium and Motostoke Stadium. So what exactly happened at Turfield Stadium? Explain exactly what happened. What? A Dynamax Pokemon went on a rampage? Huh, those Sword and Shield weirdos did it? Oh, Sonya. Hmm, Hop and Piers. Piers, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be back in Spikemuth? I am an ex-gym leader. I can be wherever I want. It's not that weird. <laughs> More importantly, you said there were Dynamax Pokemon at other stadiums? Yes, I'm getting the same readings in the other towns that I was at Turfield Stadium. I'm worried about Marnie. Ah, but Spike and Jim should be okay, right? I'm only seeing readings from Holbury Stadium and Motosoak Stadium. Ah, I see. If Pokemon are being forced to Dynamax and run running wild, there's no way I can simply sit by and watch, says Hop. What do you say, Z-Dog? Let's head to one of the stadiums. That's the spirit champion. Leave those sword and shield weirdos to me. I can poke around the net for sightings of them. We'll leave the research into this or Sonya, was it? We should get to the other stadiums and help out. All right, we will. I'm going to go ahead and, and heal my Pokemon uh, just just because, you know, you never know. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and heal them. And uh, we'll find out what's going on. Let me go rest them here. There, this is, this is where. So we're going to rest the Pokemon. And then we're gonna rush around to another stadium. There we go. And then, uh, then what happens? So, well, uh, let's look at our map. Let's look at our town map. That's gonna be what we do. Town map. And there's one there. Let's just travel to Hallberry. We'll travel to the other one next. We'll take the flying taxi. It's fine. We'll probably have to fight a couple more Pokemon. We're Dynamaxing. Let's just grab the bike and ride on over. It's been a while since I've been here. But let's see what's what. All right, Ness is here. Don't get too close, you lot. Things are pretty dangerous here. We know the situation. Are the staff and spectators all right? Yes, they took shelter just a short while ago. You know, the more I look at, at, at you three, the more I see how odd a little group you are. Leave us alone. <laughs> we came we came here to help you out. And I'm grateful for it. The Dynamax Pokemon's power is so intense, I'm sure it'll give me trouble. I feel a lot more confident about it if you all join the battle. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's go in. Who we got to fight now? I guess we don't get to capture these, unfortunately, but they'll take care of them, supposedly. So who do I want to bring out? I mean, I don't really know who I'm going up against here. Whoa, that's a Gyarados, right? And that's is that just a water type? Uh, let's see if it is. If it's just water, no, it's uh, no, it's water, or no, it's water flying. So, man, everything is intimidate, man. Our tax fell. Stop, stop that. So a water flying is weak to electricity. So I might want to go ahead and swap out Pokemon uh, for T Dog and unleash uh, the Overdrive, or well, not Overdrive, but I want to Dynamax him as soon as I can. 
I should have expected this to be water, honestly. Here was Max Geyser. Don't hurt me. Alright, good. Everything's fine. It started to rain. Comes a throat chop. That's a weak hit, but that's okay. Drum beating. That's a good hit, supposedly. Uh, his speed fell, which is good for us. Here comes Rock Tomb. That's going to be a really good hit. Oh my god. Uh, I wanted some action, please. So, do I Dynamax or should I just beat him? I think I should just beat him. Hop to Dynamax now, I know. But what about Overdrive? Here we go. Oh, what, what, what is this? Oh, hop Dynamaxing. I gotcha. Maybe, maybe Hop will just beat this on his own. I don't know, man. Hit him. Hit him with your best shot. It's funny that... So I guess if I don't Dynamax, maybe Hop will. Here you go. I mean, we might beat this guy before I even get a chance to attack, but I don't know. I, I hope to get to attack. Come on, dude. Let me get a shot in. Here's Overdrive. There you go. That's what I wanted to see. All right. Gyarados. Gyarados. How do we say his name? Has been defeated. There we go, guys. Because of everyone's help, no one was hurt, and we were able to turn the tide of the situation. I'll keep that Pokemon at Hillbury Stadium until it can fully recover. Z-Dog, if you ever need my help, just let me know. This was a quick one. We got her rare league card as well. I suppose I'll see you later then. Thank you so much for the help, truly. All right, so we're getting different variations of the league cards here. At the end of this episode, I'll show you, I guess, everything that I have. Uh, I don't really know. Um, oh, we need to fast travel. Let's go ahead then. We're going to travel over to uh, Moto Stoke. And what was Moto Stoke? Like, what gym type was Moto Stoke? I'm gonna have to travel this way. Moto Stoke was that place where that one guy also wanted me to return, and I don't know why. Which way? Uh, let me go up. Let me go up. Then we'll try to figure it out. I don't know what he had to offer me or, or what. Maybe it was a battle? I don't know. Hope it wasn't like a wild goose chase. But let's go this way really quick. I remember there was one guy who wanted this. Was it this way? I think it was this way. Yeah, there's a guy down there. So what did this guy want? Like, for real? Because I, I hope it's not like a big thing. Eek! Champion! Do you want me to teach uh, your Pokemon the move Steel Beam? Uh, marvelous move Steel Beam? Oh, so he just has a move to steal, to teach to. None of these can learn it. Uh, this dude can learn it. Perserker. This guy, I, I don't really know if I want him to do it. What if he can only teach it once? I'm going to hold off. I, I do not want him to teach me. Sorry. See you. All right. So uh, Sorry. I don't know if it's like a, a singular thing. You know, uh, I don't know. I, I'd have to do some research into thinking about who I would want to have that move. I don't know if it's like a TR or is it, or is he like a TM? Can he just do it to whoever I want, you know, multiple times? I don't know. But if it's if he functions like a TR, I don't want to waste it now. So let's go over here. And I don't know the answer to that question. You guys might be able to help me out in the comments. All right, Champion Z Dog and Piers and Hop Two. Mr. Kabu, I'm glad you remember me. <laughs> of course I do. You two were red hot after all. I'll never forget seeing you off after you completed your first leg of the gym challenge. Don't think we really got time for a friendly chin wag. Right, actually, the situation's getting pretty bad over the stadium. Yeah, that'd be why we're here. Ah, brilliant. The opponent's a bit much to take on single-handedly, so I was wondering what to do. But with you all by my side, my confidence in this battle is burning brighter by the minute. Let's begin. All right, let's do it. Who are we going up against? If, if, if this guy the fighting type, I don't remember honestly. Oh no, this guy is uh, Torkoal. Is just is he just just a fire? Uh, let's let's see what he is. 
Torkoal is just the fire type. So, um, you know, we're talking water, ground, rock, stuff that I just don't really have good things of. But if I switch Pokemon, I mean, I, I keep forgetting about D Dog here. D Dog, sure. Let's do rock, super effective. Swap Pokemon. I don't know, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Here we go. Throat chop. I got him pretty decently. Slam. Okay. Crunch. Yeah, let me, I'm just gonna try my moves too. I mean, I think we could take care of him. Here comes Max Flare. All right, he's, he might be dead. Oh yeah, he's dead. Sorry, dude. Super effective. Rillaboom fainted. Well, you know, uh, if Hop doesn't Dynamax, whatever. Let me let me try. Can I Dynamax? I can't Dynamax. Is it because I gave up my, my first turn? Uh, 60, 95, 80, let's do this, liquidation. Super effective, let's just see this in action, please. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I, Hop doesn't have anyone to Dynamax. His defense fell, so this Throat Chop should be even more effective. And the Crunch should be fine, too. There we go, I really need to plan on who I'm bringing in here. Oh, wow, Pierce and Dynamax now. So, so now Pierce is gonna be the one who Dynamaxes. So I'm still charging up my Dynamax. Let's do another, let's do uh, Rock Tomb. Why not? Whatever. Oh, he avoided the attack. Throat Chop's pretty good. There's Crunch. Pierce didn't Dynamax, oh, Pierce doesn't Dynamax. I would have been really surprised if Pierce Dynamax, I guess. Here comes Earthquake. Not a big deal. All right, critical hit on Pierce Obstagoon. Kabu can Dynamax now, maybe he will. I'm gonna try Liquidation one more time. Oh, he's gonna Dynamax, so here we go. He might get the winning hit. Look at that, that is something. All right, if I have to do this more at more gyms, I don't know if I will, but maybe. There was Liquidation, that does a trick, ha ha ha. All right, super effective. All right. So I imagine this will go pretty quickly then. Looks like we've been able to extinguish things this time. I'll let this Pokemon rest here at Motosoak Stadium until it gets its energy back. And Z-Dog, should you have the need of my help, please do not hesitate to ask. And I got his rare League card. I'll look at these at the end. Don't worry, I know. You all have more work that needs to be done, yes? Go forward, youths. I wish you well. So now what's gonna happen? Beep, beep, beep. What, what's going on, what's going on? Hey Z-Dog, is that your Roto Rotom phone ringing? Z-Dog, we got trouble. Those two weirdos have showed up at the Pokemon lab. What? Sonya, are you all right? They keep brutally demanding I hand over wishing stars. I'm all right for now, but get over here quick, okay? These guys are right creepy. All right. What are those two doing going after wishing stars? We've got to help Sonya and get back the rest of shield. Let's hurry to the Pokemon lab. All right, so we're going back to the lab. He really doesn't think anything through. Sure doesn't make him seem like a proper fool. Nah, I guess the word would be reckless. We're headed to the Pokemon lab next, right? Guess I'll stick by uh, you till we see this through. All right, great. Piers, uh, let me, I guess, leave, and then we can use the town map. All right, so the Pokemon lab down here. We know where it is now. We're going back to Wedgehurst. So, uh, will this be the final stop for us? I really don't know. But the lab is down here. This will save us a millisecond of time. And what's up? Am I saving the day or what? We know all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose had gathered are here. We celebrities have an enhanced level of insight into such things. You non-celebrities are not suited to having such valuable things. Hand them over to us. Wishing stars and being a celebrity have nothing to do with each other. I don't know how you knew about this, but there's no way we're giving them to you. That's right. You can never understand how important these wishing stars are. You have no need for them. Goodness, whatever should we do, younger brother? It would certainly seem we have been inconvenienced, older brother. Wahaha! Sonya and the professor are the ones who've been inconvenienced here. Hop! Forcing Pokemon to Dynamax against their will, you've gone way out of bounds here. And I haven't forgot about getting back the Rusted Shield either. Well, 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 I certainly thought the champion would come in, but I didn't think a loser would follow. 
Must I have <laughs> Must I have you once again taste the flavor of a humiliating defeat? Urgh. Don't let those goons put you down. That's right. You lost the battle, but don't lose that rockin' spirit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Steady. We'll fight them together. Z Dog, thanks, mate. First things first, let's get these weirdos out of here. We weirdos? Oh, how they wound me, older brother. To be called a terrible thing as, as weirdos by these ruffians. Indeed, to address royals such as ourselves in such a manner cannot, will not be forgiven. This time I brought much stronger Pokemon to thoroughly trounce you with. All right, so Shieldin's here. Are we, are we all gonna fight the, okay, me and Hop are both challenging them. This is good news. Hop's gonna probably lose his Pokemon, but there's Bronzong. Okay, these guys are both uh, good against Bronzong. Okay, we'll just see what happens, I guess. I don't know, what do you think is gonna happen? Do I use fire? I should already know, I face off against these guys, so I should know what they're weak against. So here we go, fight uh, super effective Pyro Ball at uh, Bronzong here. So here we go. Oh, one hit, perfect. Now we can just focus on this other guy, but he's gonna bring out another guy too, so. All right, level up. Sea Dog leveled up to 65 and T Dog leveled up to 63. Here's Double Edge. All right, lame, but whatever. Double also took damage from that. Was it worth it? Liquidation. Oh no. Oh god. That was bad. Uh, Phalanx is a fighting type. So uh, we're gonna be talking about like a fair. I'm gonna switch Pokemon actually to. Uh, Hold on, maybe I'll bounce out of here. It's super effective against two. Against, uh, let's do it against Golio. Sure. Here we go. Bounce. I'm, I'm out. I'll come back. Here we go. Double edge. That was not bad. Double again took damage though. There's close combat. Double is fainted. All right. And then, uh, goodbye, Dabool. Liquidation is in a miss, so sorry about it. Corviknight's coming out, okay. Let's see what we got here. Here comes, oh, these two nervous eat berries. I was never worried about them eating berries. I've never seen anyone eat a berry in this game yet. Bounce. <laughs> All right, that wasn't perfect, but I got out of the way. Emergency exit, okay. Who's next? By sharp, so by sharp, we uh, we already know we face off against him. There's close. Is that against me? Dang it, I'm dead. Sea dog fainted. That's a shame. All right, I have six Pokemon, so whatever. <laughs> All right, who's next? Scary face from Corviknight. That guy is really weak. We should probably just attack him. Um, let's bring out. E dog, e dog would be a really fun one to, to bring in, because he's weak against a lot of stuff. I mean, I mean, strong against a lot of stuff. Look at that, impressed. This stuff's gonna cost a lot more. Here, let's use flamethrower against him since it's super effective. I don't know if it's gonna be a one hit. It is perfect. All right. I like what I see. Oh, nice. Our dog is 70. Brave bird. Can we please get this guy in? A, can you like attack him, please? Thank you. Thank you, I was gonna say. All right. Okay. Corvine also took damage from the recoil. All right. I'll take it. Uh, Kling Clang, yep. Again, fire weakness, probably. The blade. All right, let's see what we got. Fight, uh... I'll go for Dub Blade. I don't think this is gonna be a one hit, but I'm, I'm using it. It was, perfect. Goodbye. And then Wild Charge. Oof, Corviknight almost died from that. That was a critical hit. All right, Brave Bird. 
Let's see what happens. All right. I <laughs> got him a tiny bit. All right. No, this guy again. I mean, I could take him out. I would rather just let... Here, I'm going to use this against uh, Kling Lang. Because maybe uh, Corviknight can to do the lesser damage to him. There you go. Flameflower is super effective from E-Dog here. All right, Steel Wing. Nice. Well, no. Okay. Not very fight. Why did you use Steel Wing? I don't even know. Here's that. Corviknight's gone. That's okay. So, E Dog, you're going to get the final hit, probably. Rillaboom's here, but I think he's going to get the final hit. Hopefully, Flamethrower once more on uh, Golisopod. Golisopod, I don't know. Flamethrower. He's going to be gone. He has to be gone. Tell me he's gone. Thank you. Okay. Nice battle. F Dog leveled up to 65. Brave. Uh, what? Okay, what, what's Brave Bird? It's a flying move. Whoa! Oh, but it also damages me. I don't know. Uh, it's it's an interesting move. I guess I could always learn it later. Assurance is also interesting because it does do 120 if, you know, I've already damaged him. Maybe I'll get rid of this bug attack. This is only a 40. I'm gonna get rid of this bug. There we go. All right, cool. All right, got them both. <laughs> Quite the vexing predicament indeed, older brother. Surely this must be some kind of mistake, wouldn't you say, younger brother? We had a lot of money there for winning. I did, we won, we really won. The exquisite Pokemon we trained actually lost? Huh, you only won because you two teamed up. Still, we offer you ruffians our praise. Oi, the two of you teamed up too. Give back the rusted shield and stop forcing Pokemon to go all crazy. Ah, uh, sorry, is this a bad time? My apologies for the intrusion. These men are dangerous, be careful. Is she working with them? Oh my God. Oh my God, well done. Your infiltration mission was a resounding success, it seems. Have you gathered the wishing stars? Yes, thanks to Master Master's Swordward and Shieldbert buying me so much time. But they gave the wishing stars over. Oh my god, this assistant is terrible. What? Stop! Give back those wishing stars! Oh dear, it would seem we've been completely had. Why? Oh, why this moment is so sweet? I don't think I'll need any sugar in my tea later. Our battle with you was just a little trick. We'd won before you grabbed a single Pokeball. And with that, farewell. Stop. Why? Professor Sonia, I, I'm sorry. Was everything? Was it all a lie right from the start? There was no helping it. It was necessary for the plan. Our plan to put Galar under control of the royal lineage once again. All right. That's terrible. That's so terrible. <laughs> Seems like... Uh, seems that lot did have something to back up all the big talk. These plants take a great deal of care, but they all seem to be flourishing. Okay, we, okay. Let's. What? What's gonna happen now? Like for real? Wait! Don't just leave without saying anything. I did say something, but you were talking about plants. But you were upset. We didn't want to say anything to make it worse. We were trying to be considerate, but. Of course I'd be down on myself. It was my fault I got tricked in, tricked by a nicket in Wulu's clothing. <laughs> but that's it. No more feeling sorry for myself. That lot made off like bandits with all the wishing stars. It'd be awful if they used for some, if they were used for some evil purpose. So there's no time to be feeling down. Oh, <laughs> you've got some guts. You've certainly grown strong in the face of adversity, dearie. Gran, Dynamaxing draws out the true strength and the trust between a Pokemon and their trainer. But that group is likely pouring the Galar particles by emitting uh, the wishing stars into Pokemon, forcing them to Dynamax. That's awful. Indeed, what an awful thing to do to a Pokemon. The theft of the wishing stars was just the start. Things could get a lot worse from here on. But why? What reason could they have for forcing Pokemon to Dynamax? Those weirdos said they wanted to reveal the true natures of Zacian and Zamazenta. I'm curious about what my former assistant said about Royal Lineage. 
Did she really mean it? Literally? Ah, Z Dog, look at your town map. I'm detecting huge reactions at four stadiums now. They certainly get get around, don't they? If there's trouble at the stadiums, then Marnie could be in a real bad way. Ah, uh, Spike must seems to be okay. There's no power spot stadium there. Um, <laughs> righto. Z Dog, there's no time to be lying about. If Pokemon are in trouble, why are we still here? Let's get right out there and lend a hand. I'm sorry to leave it all to you, but you'll have to take care of the Dynamax Pokemon. I'll search for those Sword and Shield weirdos in the meantime. Alright, so we got four more Dynamax Pokemons to take care of. So we're going to get to them. Guys, I thank you for watching. We'll handle it next episode. Maybe we'll get something cool at the end of next episode. But we are in the post-game gameplay right now. Let me know in the comments below if there's something specific you want to see from me. Goodbye, and thank you for watching. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.